Hi, uh, this is uh, Sunil again. So today we are going to show some improvements that we have done to this uh, biogas digester. I have already made a detailed video on the working of the biodigester and how the gas is produced here. We use this gas for uh, cooking at the house. It's a pretty simple process. We have uh, some organic waste, the kitchen waste that goes into this digester. We feed in every day and this waste gets converted or digested into gas in this uh, biogas digester and the produced gas gets into the kitchen. We also get some uh, slurry which we use it for uh, as we use it as a manure fertilizer. So I have made a detailed video about uh, the working in the components there, it is there in the description below. Uh, the idea of today's video is we have done some improvements, some value addition to this, uh, to this biogas digester. So we are going to go in detail and show one by one. To start with, we have a, a pressure, uh, you can say a pressure block. This is to increase the pressure of the gas inside. It's a simple, uh, simple metal block, which we can also use it to churn the gas if required. This basically enhances the pressure in the gas and we, we get a pretty good quality gas inside the stove. So this is one value addition. Secondly, we have put a, a flow meter and a remote monitoring uh, system so that we can monitor the pressure and the flow of this gas into the uh, kitchen stove. So we will go down and show you that monitoring device. We have also put a filter because the gas contains some amount of uh, impurities. So we also designed and installed a filter. So we also show you the filter and we also have a hybrid stove which can take uh, two kinds of inputs. We will go and into the kitchen and show you that as well. So this is basically the digester. So now we will go down and see how the pressure is being monitored. So now we will just get down. So the uh, gas produced in the digester flows in this uh, pipe here. So here we have got a, a monitoring uh, device. This basically uh, measures the pressure and the flow of gas in this pipe. So we have got this uh, sensor here. This is being powered by a 5 watt solar panel there. On top you can see a 5 watt solar panel that basically powers this uh, monitoring device. This gives uh, a lot of data about the gas consumption, gas produced pressure in the gas. This is the monitoring platform you can see here, one can also see in the phone or the web app also. This basically gives what is the pressure of the gas, what is the gas consumption today, what is the total gas consumption so far. So we can get a lot of plenty of data here. So and we can also see some historical data, pressure and time uh, uh, measurements. So at what time, how much is, is getting produced, how much is getting consumed. So we can see uh, today's data, we can see uh, timeline data also, so we can, we can check, we can customize the timeline. So this is, uh, this is basically, you can get plenty of other information also from this monitoring platform. So this is basically helpful in terms of uh, measuring the flow and pressure of the gas. Uh, but as you know, uh, the produced gas also contains some amount of impurities. The gas coming out of the digester is not purely methane. It also has carbon dioxide and some amount of hydrogen sulphide. So basically this is a, a filter design to scrub all the unnecessary gases. So this is a three chamber or a three module filter. So basically the methane or the gas produced from the digester goes into the first chamber. Here we have got water. So this can, this basically scrubs or takes out some amount of carbon dioxide. Then flows into the second chamber. We have this uh, basically a uh, desiccant. So you can use silica or you can use rice or any kind of uh, desiccant. We have used a uh, little bit of cat litter and activated carbon or regular charcoal. This basically adsorbs some amount of smell in the gas. And the last chamber is basically the steel wool. So here uh, we have uh, steel. This basically scrubs out all the hydrogen sulphide. So the gas coming from the register passes through all these three filters and then it goes into the uh, kitchen. Here inside we have a stove which uh, in which we can cook food using the biogas. So we also have LPG here uh, because see this digester gives about uh, 60 to 70 minutes of gas depending on the temperature and depending on the feed. Sometimes we may not be able to feed every day. So we, we also have a LPG as a backup uh, and uh, this LPG also goes to the same stove inside. 
So it's a hybrid stove which can take input from both LPG and biogas. I'll just show it to you once we go inside. So this is our uh, kitchen and this is the hybrid stove. Uh, in one of the previous videos about biogas digested, I had shown you the biogas stove. This is basically a conventional burner used for uh, biogas. You can see the, uh, the holes has a bigger diameter. But in this stove, thanks to the pressure and thanks to the filter, they are using the same burner as we use for LPG. See this side of the stove is for the LPG. This side of the stove is for biogas. You can see the burner is same for uh, LPG as well as biogas. This is the LPG burner. This is the biogas burner. We are using the same burner for both. Conventionally, this is the burner used for biogas. But in this system, after all the uh, modifications and, and value addition, we have been able to use the same burner. So this is basically a hybrid stove. These two sides are these two are for biogas, these two are for LPG. I'll, I'll light both of them now. Uh, for uh, biogas, we need to use uh, a conventional matchstick. So here we go, this is the biogas. So this is now biogas, you can see the biogas being lit there. And this is our conventional LPG. So now both of them are working uh, together. So this is the LPG side. This is the, uh, the biogas side. So we have four burners, two in LPG, two in biogas. In most cases, in most days, we'll be able to sustain only through biogas. We also have LPG as a backup. Let us go out and see now the filtration system, like how the water bubbles, also how the gas bubbles through that and comes into this. Stop. So you can see here the, the gas is bubbling through this water, the gas is coming through this, bubbling through this water. Here the carbon dioxide gets scrubbed, next goes into a uh, desiccant where moisture, basically moisture is uh, reduced here. Some, some smell in the gas also gets absorbed in this charcoal. Then there is hydrogen sulphide which gets scrubbed in this steel wood. This goes into the kitchen. You saw the gas burning inside. So these are about some uh, value additions, some filtrations that we have done for the biogas plant. Thank you very much.